Hey guys, today we're trying Iron Danger, as requested by a Patreon subscriber, Sage Genesis. Brp. Brp. I don't. I probably don't need to customize anything in this game. Just hop in. Probably. Probably. I think. You really teased me with that loading screen. I got really quiet. <laughs> there we go. At ease, Quartermaster. Now my steward has informed me that the entire Blessed Water garrison died in the line of duty against the Northlanders, leaving you the sole survivor. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Uh, oh, oh, well, um, the, the Northlanders took many slaves. Civilians, primarily. But it may well be some of my comrades were taken alive. I'm afraid any possible captives are to be written off. Queen Lohi works her prisoners to death quickly. By now, all those taken are surely either in her slave camps behind the gates of Northland, or lying dead somewhere along the way. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, I understand. So, uh, oh, I mean, my, my report, sir. Let, 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 let me just compose my thoughts. Go ahead. Start from the beginning. They attacked under cover of night, sir. Firebombs cast from beyond the town wall. And, and right after that, the shock troops swarmed in through the shattered castle gate. I didn't even have time to don the armor. But before I knew what was happening, half of us had already been killed. Slow down, Quartermaster. I've never seen the light before, Lord Anthea. Black iron soldiers with swords and sledgehammers bolting onto their bodies. <laughs> And, and that's not the half of it. The giant smoke belching harnesses, 12 feet tall, and, 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 and spraying flaming oil. We never stood a chance. I escaped the castle with Kipuna, and we made it to the boat, and then we... Halt. Your report is incoherent. Quiet down for a while. Now, you were attacked by the Northlander army, and the castle was overtaken. You mentioned Kipuna. This is the civilian you brought with you, correct? Yes. Yes, sir. Kipuna? Don't be afraid, girl. Come forward. Was it that incoherent? It seemed fine. Orbit the game view by performing a right bus. Yeah, so right click is, is map control. Oh, that's very bright. Hello. I... My lord. Don't be afraid. It's clear you've gone through far greater dangers than just talking to an old man. You're safe here, Kipuna. The city of Kalevala is the greatest men have ever built and well defended from Lohi's legions. But your injury is quite astounding. How, with that object embedded in your chest, are you still alive? The healer of Broomhead, my lord. I would have died without her, I'm sure. And she's the one who taught me magic. The healer of Broomhead? A figure from fairy tales. And she taught you magic? I see. Kipuna, you must tell me all. Please start from the very beginning. This is where we flash back to the game happening. So she just has like a like a spike through her body, like a reverse Lucario. Over here. Yeah, she doesn't have it yet. If no action selected, left mouse will walk to the desired location. Yep. And Alt is highlighting interactives. Okay. I believe this is a turn-based strategy RPG. I think. Can you hear me? Kipuna! I'm here! What's going on? I smell smoke! There's debris blocking the door. I, I, I tried to move it, but it's too heavy. Uh, can you force it open from your side? Uh, I can try! It's too heavy. It's like four planks of wood and an oar. I can see the debris. You can't trick me. <laughs> no action selected. You can click on... Uh, I think they're just saying left click on it. Yeah. There we go. There we go. You're unharmed. 
In what universe was that easier from the inside? Is it the mill again? We're under attack. Come on, run! The castle must still be safe. Who's attacking us? Nope. Sam's not one for answers. Only ah, for commands. The just blew up! Northlanders, quick! Uh, let's go through the marketplace. Damn. Well, there goes that. I wonder if combat pauses. I think it'll be turn-based. Well, he's half dead already. It's not great for him. died. This thing, it's pierced my heart. That cannot be held. But if you never fell, the thread never broke. And there is a way for you to live again. I don't understand. Who are you? Shush now. I will help you wind back the frayed thread. Turn the spindle. Gently now. Um. Okay, so we're we're winding time because of what happened to us. And then maybe, I guess that this might be an ongoing gimmick throughout the whole thing. Then is being able to use like Prince of Persia time warping during like combat to try to find the optimum path through a scenario, perhaps, and then win. The timeline at the bottom of the screen, it's divided into 14 heartbeats. Blue rectangle on the timeline is your current time. Your actions are recorded on these heartbeats, so you can freely, freely move back and forward in time and change them. The long red action on the timeline is the damage you received from the impact. Click anywhere on it to rewind back, all the way to the moment before your fall. <laughs> Use spacebar or the hourglass button to exit, enter and exit trance mode. Okay, so let's not fall directly back on the same spot again. Oh, can I just walk down here? Oh, okay. By Tulone, what is that thing in your chest? A, a piece of shrapnel. It's glowing red hot. It hurts. I don't understand. I... Can you still run? I was in a cave. Just past that market square. We can make it to the castle. I can't feel my chest. That's distressing. My child. Again, you have erred. Am I dead? You are in a deep trance. Step backwards to life and find another way. Okay, I feel like we're torturing this poor girl now. <laughs> she's been alive again for seconds, barely understands what happened, and she's already dead again. Like, this is just getting cruel. Trance is automatically activated during combat. You exit trance once combat is over. Dodge the arrows in order to get through the marketplace. Apply the dodge action on the heartbeat that you received the damage to keep Kipuna alive. So let's rewind to here and hit the eat fish. Just a normal thing to have on your list next to those other things. Yep. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Ouchies. And then you undo the ouchies. And then you're like, just kidding. I did a little dodge roll like in Dark Souls. There we go. All right. That's an approach. Hmm. Like, she's, she'll become a protagonist not because of her capability and other things, but instead just because she, like, she just keeps dying and undoing it over and over again. 
This castle looks pacified to me, aside from that straggler. Too old to fight back and definitely too old to be of any use as a slave. I'm gonna kill ya! Let's head down, tally the prisoners. What are you waiting for? Come here and die! Once the cleanup staff will assemble at the city gate, Marshal Cove Cop will want them branded without delay. You'll never take Calavera! We'll drive you back north all the way up Low East Coast! And then. That old lout won't stop interrupting me! Clean up crew, you take care of him! Everyone else, move out! There we go. To perfect your timing, select the skill you wish to use, then use the mouse wheel or X key to move until you see the perfect occasion present itself. The full action... what are we talking about? The full action length and activation point are previewed in the timeline for the... This is a really complicated way to talk about things. I've never even done a fight yet, and I'm gonna like, perfectly time how... I don't know how to fight that much. Like, I don't know how the game works that well, so this is like, this seems like we're getting too granular too quickly about like pro tips. Incoming damage displayed as a red X in the timeline. In order to avoid damage, place the block command on the exact heartbeat the X is on. If the X is in the middle of the heartbeat action, use the weight action to override the line. <laughs> Naturally, you need to know when the damage... You need to let it in and then block after... Yeah. It's just saying that stuff has to happen first, then you rewind and undo the thing that happens. Instead of block, you can also interrupt the enemy that inflicted the damage with an attack of your own. With an attack skill selected, a ghost diamond indicates that the point in time in which you inflict damage, the diamond is, is placed before the X. You may be able to interrupt the enemy and thus avoid being damaged. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll figure it out. Just a hell of a learning curve, because it's like a totally different system. Who just died? Sammy died? Do I have, am I supposed to save Sammy? Or is the game disposing of Sammy right now? There's no skull icon. Am I not supposed to save Sammy? Does, do, does Sammy just die? Get to Calavalla and warn Lord Anthill. To Calavalla? The capital? Lohi is preparing an attack on the city of Calavalla itself. If they can take the city by surprise, then all hope is. I've got to get there. I. My family has a boat. Right. Can you navigate the bay? Uh, yes. Um, but. Good, good, because I'm rubbish at it. And somebody needs to get me to Calavella. So let's keep moving. Sammy just casually died and no one's acknowledging it. I guess that's the extent to which we commit attention to the character who, like, can't... Whoa, am I taller than this doorway? I am. Jesus Christ. Uh... Poor Sammy. He's the one that came to like, he didn't do a good job, but he tried to save the protagonist and like come for her. And he just dies as not, he's not even the focus of the screen when he dies and nobody mentions his death afterwards. It's really funny. You get away from her. Let's rewind to the block moment. Ha ha, block. Get back to here and then block. Did I block or attack? Wait, what? He took damage, but wasn't I trying to block his incoming attack? Does block do it? One harp your oh it's on cooldown for just a moment. Well, I want to use it. No, what? No, I'm clicking here. Rewind to oh shit. Uh stop doing this attack. I can't do block yet, but I I need to block here. That's when the attack happens. So I can need to block, so like is there... Just stop? There we go. So if you click on an action, it rewinds to the beginning of that action. 
Which makes it a little frustrating because you're trying to like... Stop an incoming attack from coming- He's- wait, what? He hit me anyway. No, I fucking- <laughs> Alright, this is a little frustrating. We'll get it, we'll get it. So attack, and then he- That Timmy didn't hit me. Why didn't he hit me that time? He hit me- his AI hit me last time when I rewound. Like, didn't he hit me right in this tile before? But then this time he didn't when I rewound to attack instead? Or- I'm a little confused. Heh. So I block that attack successfully, then we attack. There we go. Then can I get away with another attack? Nope. We'll go back to here. Block. Get him. There we go. There we go. It'll take some practice. <laughs> Block their attacks. All right, I'll stay out of their way. So Topi no has no idea that Kipper over here is just like saving his life via magic time powers. Like he doesn't. That's confusing, actually. From her protect, from her perspective, she's getting like time powers, and she knows. Oh, I died. I need to undo the death timeline. But immediately we're establishing that other characters also are affected by this. But they presumably don't know they're time traveling, right? Don't they? No, un undo this action. There we go. Then go here and block. Presumably she has no idea. Uh, he has no idea this is happening. And if he has no idea this is happening, I don't know how he's. Shit. I'm not really sure how he's, like, fixing the problems and reacting to his past mistakes if he's not experiencing them. I thought that was, like, the basic premise, but I feel like we immediately lost track of that making sense. Oh, no. This poor villager needs to go away. <laughs> Please go away. All right. Didn't I use kick? No. Undo this. Now, uh, one heartbeat remaining. Now I use kick. Go away. Get away from villager that is very easy to kill. There we go. I can see that attack coming that time. He wants a villager. Go away. Out of range. They don't necessarily close the range when that kind of st when you do that kind of attack. Get him. There we go. Run, villager. Wrong way. We're going to the boat to escape. Every other direction is death. All right. Well, I saved her for no reason. Bye. Oh, <laughs> uh, she's gonna die horribly. Or never mind. I guess the default camera position just kind of made me think that that was the way we're going, but actually. This seems to be the way we're going, so she's right. I'm the fool. Oh, she died. Some of these guys just die. I missed him when I was clicking. Ow. Get him. There we go. There's our boat. Can you sail it to Calavera? I've never sailed that far south, but I'll sail it away from here. Look, good start. Let's go. She just looks like she's in agony all the time. Skill upgrade. Select a skill upgrade for Topi. What are all these? A wider block. Or make an unblockable attack. Middle surrounding enemies. 
battle cry. Hmm. I guess you can make Roundhog Roundhouse Kick stronger. There's these little previews of each ability. There we go. Looks like they roll manually recorded. I mean, I guess that's how you do it in general. Basically the way I'm doing it is how you'd make these videos. Huh. Did they make an animation for Charge? It kind of looks like he just walks into him. And slides a bit? I don't know. I feel like wide block could be useful because it could let you have, yeah. Oh yeah, goes from a 90 degree block to a 180 degree block. That could be useful in certain situations, although, you know, I'm guessing because I haven't seen a ton of scenarios yet. Look at this guy with the cartoonish face spikes. He's not taking it well so far. Maybe you should lie down for a second. I can handle the boat for a little while. Oh, I've never seen an injury like that before. How are you still alive? Uh, I shouldn't be. I should be dead, shouldn't I? Oh, maybe I am. Oh, no, 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 no. Of course not. Just. Just take a breather. You'll be fine. You, you'll... I... I won't. I'm getting weaker all the time. The river will always flow down to the sea. That's something my mother said. Things will always go the way they're meant to go. But they won't. She didn't know. My rivers run upwards, away from the sea. I'm not meant to be alive. I know you're hurt, but we can't give up. We have to get to Calavella. I won't last that long. It's already getting dark. And besides, everyone I know is dead. What difference does it make if I die as well? Now, listen. By Tawani, maybe you are too hurt to make it. I'll have to get you to a healer. <laughs> what healer? Um, the healer of Broomhead. It's right across the strait. I can sail us that far. The healer of Broomhead? That's just an old story. So old. My grandparents heard it from their grandparents. No, she's real. Trust me. Just try to rest. Have you seen her? Well, um, no, 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 but don't worry about that. You're only trying to make me feel better. You know I won't last long. No, you'll see. It's all right. You're just being kind. I'll... I'll rest. Resting's going to be interesting, because if you lay on your back or your front, then you're directly putting pressure on the spike through your body, which I feel like any movement would be bad if it can move. I'm not sure. You said we're going to rewind your thread in order to, un to undo the problem, basically. But she kept the spike in her chest so she didn't rewind her she she un she undid the fall as if that was the problem but the fall wasn't the problem the fall was the spike in her chest so it's like the uh we keep doing re rewinds to save people but the first rewind didn't undo the damage technically it just left the spike in her chest damn, damn this boat and this lake everything and damn me, the stupid ox I am. A healer of Broomhead, the red witch of Broomhead. She's likely to eat the girl as to healer, if she exists at all. Well, 
course, you better exist. I can't pilot this boat all the way to Calavella, but Broomhead's only just across. Now, I can do that much. Well, then, good luck with that. This game is so cruel to her. A peninsula across the strait from my hometown, uninhabited and always shrouded in fog. In the stories, it's home to Mai's folk, and a traveler can make... And a traveler can meet a witch or become lost in its forest forever. This is it, Kipuna. The healer's house is somewhere nearby. I can hardly walk. It may be too late for me. Just a little while longer. Once we get you patched up, we can get to Calavala and warn Entheor. The galaxy golem or whatever it was really made it feel like, like seem like she was actually saving Kipuna, like she was gonna undo the damage. But she just left the spike in her chest, and it's not like she's just like. At first, I thought it was like, oh, but but apparently she's just gonna be fine with the spike in her chest. But she's super not. Like it's not just a magic spike you can ignore. She's she's in agony and Look, dying. There's a door up there. There must have been a whole fortress. That seems like the least likely part of the fortress to stay up. Oh, friend or foe? Hurt. Where can we find the healer? You won't need a healer. I'm a surgeon. In fact, I'll cut both of you open right here. Don't you start. And I'll take that shiny thing you've got in your chest, too. Come here, girl. No! Is it, there, he, even he's, like, completely unfazed by the fact that, like, there's just a thing in this person's chest. That's normal, right? Ow. Right, let's just rewind to, like, the fucking beginning of this encounter. From, like, from step one, I was really poorly placed for this. What? Did I... I guess I missed him? Kill. No? I thought you could attack people by clicking on them and not always have to click on the attack button. What? No. Cancel? There. No? No, I What? Am I imagining this? Wasn't there a time where I could just click on an enemy and that would attack them? I feel like the game taught me that, and then it stopped working. That's just kind of confusing. Okay, so... Combat, let's rewind about, like, here. Hit him now. There we go. Fuck that guy. Uh, walk forward a little bit. He got back up fast. There we go. You are making a mistake by approaching here. Oh, God damn it. The game's a tad pedantic about your, uh, your actions. That'll take some getting used to. Your character will not, like, wait to be in attack range. He will definitely just swing at nothing. Oh shit, where'd he come from? I did not see him coming. Oh. That wasn't the correct block range. Okay, now. I need to spend this turn moving a bit. Ah. Other people are faster than I am. <clears throat> so here's me hitting him in the first time, in the first place, right? Got him. Haha. Uh -huh. There we go. Did I, did I hit her? Can I hit her? I might have hit her. It'd be nice if she could just not, not be right here, right now. Can I tell her to like not stand in the middle of the fight? I feel like that should be like a given, but here we are. All right, so that's not gonna work out. 
The block right here. Be gone, second foe. There we go. I probably can't get this attack off. I did. Surprisingly. Well. So I assume there's going to be eventually like some. Oh. Some deserters, I'll bet. Bandits. But why would bandits set up an ambush so far from roads and towns? Oh, cowards and outlaws naturally scurry to remote places like this. I assume there are eventually will be like some sort of like interesting risk reward built into this combat where you have reason to take damage because it pays off in certain ways or something. Otherwise, it's just like play the clock forward and then keep fixing whatever whatever goes wrong, which isn't immediate. Not necessarily going to be super interesting. So I assume there's more planned to that. They have more planned for the combat than that. It's like that intro sequence of like run through the area. You died there. Don't go there. Go the other, go the other way place or or dodge at that moment. Uh, that would have an expiration date on how long it would stay interesting. So I assume they've done more with it than that. It's tripping me out that oh yeah that is yeah my mouse is on the mini map. I was, I was trying to figure out what the blue square was, and it's actually just my mouse showing up on the screen on the little mini map. Oh, hold on. I've got to catch my breath. Yeah, all right, but not for long. <sighs> so much fog. That must be why they named it Broomhead. And the sun's going down. Oh, wow. <sighs> don't go near those lights. No, I don't think they're dangerous. What are they? Mm, let's find out. This is how you get Will of the Wisp. They get you. They're gonna get you. There are now two timelines on screen, one for each character. Oh my god. <laughs> you can click anywhere on, e on either timeline to select a specific heartbeat and a specific character. You must select actions separately for each character, but they can both execute their actions simultaneously. To assign simultaneous actions, first select one character and enter a single action or a series of them. Then rewind, select the other character, and assign actions for the second character. This is where it gets nuts, because you'll have parallel timelines for the two characters happening at the same time. And you can you can either like do the whole timeline as one character, or you can more likely... like You probably wouldn't do one uh, timeline as one character, then one timeline as the other character, and then play them out. You'd probably constantly be hot-swapping, because like things that one character would do would interrupt what's happening in the other timeline. Which immediately sounds like it'll go nuts. The stairs rose part way. Oh, with more of them, we could get to the door. Yeah, but why? Um, there's something about that door. Let's be ready when the light hits. When the light hits? What's the... Uh... Is the idea that I need to be on the right spot? That's what you mean, right? Is I need to be standing on these two spots whenever that happens? Another step. Okay. That's good. Let's continue. Yeah, so this is a tutorial for this mechanic. Just gotta run around a bit and spend time until the next lights show up. Which, they show up here. So rewind to here and click here. Then rewind to here and click here. And then uh spacebar enter exits trance, I guess. No. Just 
to it's this tile and they go here I guess I was wrong about which tiles it was so what uh, she didn't keep going how do I proceed time oh wait no I think you click I just need to click forward on the timeline right the path to the doorway is complete. Uh, that's where we should go, right? Yes. Let's go. I keep thinking of it as like a series of steps that I'm taking. And like I need to pick the next action so that I keep- I kept trying to look for like a how do I skip action? <laughs> like what's the skip action or proceed forward button on this like bar or whatever. But it's actually, you just kind of click ahead somewhere. Oh. I'm sorry. I thought I could, but I... I can't go on anymore. Everything's going dark. Uh, I don't, um... Something is really happening, though. Help! She needs help! Did the gateway toy with you on the way? What? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, we got through the gate. Look, she's badly hurt. We need your help. You did before and got it. You'll have it again. Uh, uh, I don't understand any of this, but she's dying. Please help. She's being born, a painful thing. Come in, we'll help deliver her. So she's like unstuck from time or maybe things are looping and so on. So she's like talking about past events and stuff Three new abilities unlocked for Kipuna fireball flaming weapon and spark Damn Just like that. She has she now has that magic. We we're talking about Charge could be useful if it makes me cover distance that seems like a decent thing Being a lot of upgrades for people that haven't really had fights yet Oh, did she join the party? I collapsed from pain and exhaustion, and my spirit traveled to a different realm. What's happening? Where am I? In the right place. Finally. It was a near thing, but you're here now. Am I... am I dead? No, little human. No, indeed. Though you are hurt, it's true. She will guide you to health. See? I understand. I'm dreaming. Yes. None of this is real. No, little spark. All of it is. Come, wait deeper now. To heal you, we must struggle. Northlanders! They followed me here. In a way, they are shadows of your fear and hurt. To heal yourself, you must overcome them. They're too strong, too horrible. Look at their weapons. Try to taste the power pulsing in you. That strange force that vibrates and itches and claws to get out. Open up to it. How does it feel? It feels hot. Yes, let it out. Let the flame out. And then suddenly fire powers. So, spark. Oop. I burned them! Yes, my blossoming spark, my kipuna. That's all it took. Come, let us wade yet further. And so our innocent little girl starts her journey to becoming another video game protagonist mass murderer. Hooray! <laughs> I'm sure she'll cope with it very well. Is that a right? Oh yeah, it's rising. Hmm. Waiting for a new platform to come up, I guess. Oh, here's a platform. Okay. I've never seen a door like that before. Neither have I. But it is no figment, that is certain. The force of the shard wishes to show this to you. 
Yes, yes, you're right. The door won't open yet. I need to find the power conduits and light them up first. Find and activate the light pill. Let's leave trans mode. Trans mode kind of strangles the game for me a little bit. So I, should, I don't really want to be in it if I don't have to. The door won't open yet. I need to... Power conduits. Where are we trying to go? Oh, new platforms. There's one. Behold that pillar. Inside it lies a bud of searing light waiting to bloom if you but call it forth. Call it forth? How? Like calls to like. Use the flame, of course. Now I understand. I need to open the gate. And to do that, I must draw out the power of the light pillar. Yes, child, good. You're finding your way, catching the scent of your soul's true quarry. Yep, get away. Oh. Oh, I'd already clicked on it from before, so she she committed. What? Fine, fireball. There we go. The power flows. But it's not enough yet. This is only one pillar of two, and both must be lit. Lead the way, my golden bird. She's taking to whatever's going on here, like, very easily. rock didn't rise up before it opens another path you must now be ready for it as before you were not i guess it's inside of her own brain so all the nonsense logic's being made by her potentially or maybe not but since it's taking There's place there this way. i know it do we have to go this way my ember is one winding loop on your path out of here out of the hurt and blood and fear I get, I'm thinking that, like, because it's happening inside of her brain, she probably can more intuitively just suddenly be like, Oh yeah, that makes perfect sense. On the fly. Because it's just like... It's like, oh yes, the only way to open this gate is to free the pillars of light. Which I, which just makes inherent sense. It's an oil barrel. And spilled oil all around. Verily. It would take little enough for all this to go up in flames. And there, in the center, what you seek. Another light pillar. And this, too, is surrounded by Northlanders. That's easy enough to undo. We, uh, kind of hope for something else to happen there. There we go. Hey, hang in there, buddy. I kind of hope they'd run towards the oil situation over there, instead of away from it. Maybe I should be casting Flaming Weapon. Nope. Nope, pretty much took himself out. Alright. Bye-bye! I kind of thought that the oil would all chain... Okay, here he comes. I kind of hope there'd be, there'd be a chain of reaction and it would just light the entire area up. Come on, get me, buddy. Walk over here into the oil, please. Or not, apparently. Oh, shit. There we go. So they don't always just automatically walk into the fire the way the first one seemed to. I assume she's immune to fire. I got it. The door's opening. Done well, my brave little fox. Do you feel hurt? Not much. Your spirit is healed, and your body will follow soon. You're ready for the waking world again. But what about the shard? It's still there, in my chest. Yes. We'll talk more in my hut.
So we're just all better now? Oh yeah, the roster is filling out. I wonder how many people end up on this loading screen by the end. The secret abode of the Mahis folk, called the forest cover by those who've been lost in it and return years later with strange stories. When I woke up with the, from the first crazed dream, I was shocked that I wasn't in my own bed. That it had all happened. Shush, little one. Nothing to be done about it now. Get up. I can't. I'm too badly hurt. What are you afraid of? What? Oh, are you the healer of Broomhead? Go on and stand up. I've closed your wound with my needle and thread, and if the stitches should tear and your blood come gushing out again, what danger there? Just take a step backward. You know you always can. Wait. You were in my dream. That is so. Now stand up. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. I have nothing to repay you with. My orchid bud, you know well, my gifts are mine to give. I, Hela, I'm forever grateful. I'll remember this always. Those are words to speak under waning moons, words for a swallow in autumn. But here we can have summer always, a full moon every night. Well, it's daytime now. I think I'm ready to step outside. Hmm. So she's just gonna constantly be in kind of agony, isn't she? Hmm. It's just straight up a spike sticking out of her chest. Not normal, but I'm all right. She managed to patch you up despite that that thing still in your chest. So you're good to sail. You know, we we can leave for Calabella. I... I don't know if we can even leave this place without her help. But we've got to warn them that the Northlanders are on the march. Uh, warn the Calavallans, I mean. It's only us. Nobody else survived to alert them. Ah, oh, yes. You're right. I'll talk to her. Kipuna, join me at my fire. I feel bad for her. She's just gonna be in pain all the time. And like, and I'm, <laughs> I definitely can't spend too much logic on it because it'll, <laughs> I'll lose my mind. Just this idea that like, if it tears and she bleeds and whatnot, she's, then she's weakening and dying and it's always like a problem and like, it's like a constant threat for her. But her status quo is still that there's a spike through her heart. So, like, it's not like it's in a safe position before it tears and whatnot, but somehow that's okay, I guess. I don't know. I think we should go. I'm too grateful for words, but my protector's growing restless because we're in a hurry, and, and I don't really know how long we've been here. Here on the hidden side, my blossom, time cannot grasp and strangle us as it will in the world outside, though it may pinch. And what grows here is concealed well. So this place is, um, safe? From cruel and stumbling men, yes. But my little home too is beset with trouble. What kind of trouble? Come, my spark. You'll get a chance to shine. Ah. Look at these little pieces of wood. Can you hear it? The flame. Hear a flame? Yes. The wood is dry as a bone. Inside all things there waits a little dark ember, the sweet marrow. If you let your own fire speak to it, it will come to life in glory. I don't know if I... Kippana, my blossom, don't dissemble. The Shard has given the secret flame to you, and you have learned in dreaming how to call it forth. It will be no strain to let it roar. 
So she said we're basically in like a pocket that's outside of time. So the basic rules of how time works don't apply. We can spend like infinite time here and then go back outside and it'll basically still be the same time we came in. So no, no time will have been lost besides the time it took to travel here. Yes. You gave her a magic instrument that blasts fire. That's irresponsible. Quiet man when you see sorcery afoot. Damn. The fire just came out of me. Oh, wait, um, are we still in the dream world? No, Blossom, though we are far from the real world as well. The power is in you, the gift of the shard that I helped to bring to light in the dream. But uh, she's just a girl. She hasn't been trained in magic, right, Kippena? She needs no training. Her power is the fruit of her fusion with the shard. Now, quiet. But how did I do that? Hmm. And so it's verified that she has this power forever now. On the trees to keep my little house unsullied by Razix. It's not just in her by dreams. What? what did she say? Razix. Spirits of despair and shadow from the Northland Myers. As their witch queen has extended her reach, they too have slunk abroad along the cracks in the world shell to places like my hideout here. Evil spirits. They can't be harmed by steel alone, but fire will burn them. You want me to go out there and burn these... Razix? Yes. Their darkness and terror will help you open up and let your fire out. Starting to think that I got fire powers specifically because she has a bunch of fire-related tasks she needs done around the island. Alright, well that's about the time we have for today, so I think we're gonna call it an episode. I, can't, I obviously can't speak to the game as a whole, because I've only seen a glimpse of it, and that's how it usually goes and all that. But, um... While the premise is interesting, the time travel -y combat system, even though I take issue with, like... Just the fact that it seems really like the narrative contextualized it as being Kipuna's thing. And, like, Topi doesn't know it's even happening, but he somehow changes his actions to fit the past failures, and I'm not really sure what's going on there. Exactly, but uh, besides that, uh, the combat's a little finicky. I don't. I'm not sure if I would really love pushing forward and doing more of it. Uh, I kind of like to. I almost feel like I'd Im I'd, Im I'd prefer like. I know it's a little tropey, but like a lot of games have like an XCOM sort of combat system where you do like, you move on a grid and you just like take a full action where you can either do. You do like one move in action and one combat action each turn and so on. And so having the time travel manifest as being like, and then I rewound that turn and tried again that after seeing what happened and did a better outcome. Uh, it might be a little more approachable just because the granularity of how it controls wouldn't be as finicky. This, this, is, this one's really specific and like, it has a lot of like initiating actions to take several turns and then uh, like, Rewinding and fast-forwarding back and forth like crazy. I think there's there's probably people that would that uh, this appeals to But the input system for the combat. I don't find uh, particularly appealing Like I, I just don't I just I find the combat kind of just a little annoying to be honest uh, And that's kind of a deal-breaker if that's like the core gameplay, but the idea is pretty neat I'm just not sure if I like controlling the specifics of how they manifested that idea but anyway, if you want to check this game out, there is a link to the Steam page in the description. Thank you to the developers for sending me a code so I could preview their game. Thanks for watching like always, guys, and I'll see you next time.